Hello everyone, it's Marco Man Fu Savage. Oh yeah, dig it. And I'm telling you, my stomach is bored here. If you're wondering where hair is, here, sorry for the hair and everything. I, I look very rough. So you might see me picking my hair throughout this whole video. Only because I'm looking extremely rough right now. This is not me. This is this is because of where I am. So, I now go to school at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, also known as IUP, to people that live in Pennsylvania. Um, so, pretty much what this video is gonna be about is my experience here. You're gonna hear me rant about it, I'm gonna go into different subjects. I'm gonna try to see when I upload this to YouTube and with some nice editing, let me see if I can split off whenever I start talking about something else. Other than that, I think you can follow, because I'll, I'll clearly stay on one topic. I'll do my best to stay on one topic. If I did not, please throw that in the comments. But hey, be a little bit more organized. I need that. I need that help. Uh, also, you know, like, share, subscribe. You know, share with your friends. All that good stuff. Just in case they consider we might come in here and all that. So I'm here as a grad student. Um, of course, my experience is going to be a little bit different due to the fact that I'm not the same age as most of the people here who are undergrads. I'm not on that same great uh, like level of education because I have a bachelor's degree already from Cheney University of Pennsylvania. Shout out to Cheney, shout out to the first HBCU, you already know. But so I'm about to talk about my experience here so far. The first thing I want to hone upon is the dorm. The residence halls here are really nice looking. Like they're supremely nice looking. The one I live in is called Walworth. Uh, most of the international Students, students from other countries, students that speak other languages live in this building, so it's pretty cool to see, like, a very diverse population of people, you know, not saying that Cheney wasn't diverse or anything, but it was, it's like, yo, this is cool to see this, you know, to see, like, different people from different backgrounds, like, like, all over the world kind of thing, be at a university like this, is IEP is pretty big, too, so that kind of helps. But the residence halls are really, definitely really nice. Uh, rules, super uber strict. Um, for those of you that know Cheney and Cheney isn't, Cheney is strict. Dot, 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 right? So IPs are, you know, it's really strict though about some, some certain things, certain fun stuff, but that's all only because of the county. So that's why the people in, you know that run the, the residence halls are pretty strict. Uh, next topic of this is food. I'm Marco Man Food Savage, right? Which means I adore, love food. <sighs> Being here, my stomach is depressed. I'm gonna repeat that. My stomach is depressed. I'm here, you know. So one of the things that made me mad about the food options here was that on Super Bowl Sunday there was no wings being served. No type of chicken anything if it wasn't out if it wasn't with the out, like Alfred like pasta station. Which is whack. Is Super Bowl Sunday. Wings, please? That would have been perfect. They ain't serve any kind of like cool food. They serve I don't I don't know what Western PA people eat. For Super Bowl Sunday, I hope y'all eat wings. I'm very sure y'all eat wings. But there was no wings here. They had hot dogs. Hot dogs? Okay, I get that. But hot dogs? Super Bowl Sunday? Not wings? All right. Okay. Whatever. I still got my nerves. Um, Other than that, the food options here, if you're going just to, like, the dining halls, you eat the same stuff every day. It's whack. You know, North Dining Hall always serving tofu, not tofu, sushi. Sushi, they always serving sushi. And they, you know, they try to spice up a little bit. You know, they got little theme things like game night and all that. Eh, it's not doing it for me. You know, you see burgers and fries being served every day at Folger Dining Hall. Every day, B? Come on. And some of the, some of the people that work here, work like as far as the chefs go, you can tell they just doing their job. Like at Cheney, they love to do what they're doing. You know, they love the interaction with the students. They wanted to make sure that their food was good so you can keep going back to their station. 
You know, because, you know, sometimes, you know, you could get pulled from a station just because you might not be into the work that day. So just a little thing right there. Some make us depressed, not depressed, depressed. Emphasis on depressed. Okay, I can't wait to get back home. Eat some Honest Times burritos. Shout out to Honest Times. Go to Local 44. Get a, get that Local 44 cheeseburger. Shout out to Local 44 as well. Um, Next topic. Whew, student life. All right. And I'm going to make a lot of comparisons to Cheney just because, you know, that's the only other place I've really been to and really experienced. And Cheney, super sm very small school. Everybody knows everybody. And it's kind of like, at Cheney, there's nothing to do, right? That's that's our, one of our biggest things. That's the, one of the biggest things that we always said at Cheney. Yo, there's nothing to do. But at Cheney, when there is something to do, everybody know about it. And most of the time, mostly everybody going to go to it. It's a big portion of people that's going to go to the event. Here, it's so much going on that not too many people show up to too many things. It's literally like a scattered plot of things. You know, there's not that one thing that's going on that everybody's like, yeah, that's going to be popping. Oh, man, I can't wait to go to that. Sadly mistaken. It's literally like, all right, cool, melting pot, but everybody don't go, everybody don't melt in the same pot. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody kind of just spread out into the different groups. You know, this group go there, this group go there, this group go here, this group go there. It's not really like, oh, hey, you know, I'm going to try something. I'm going to go to something different. Boom, go to that. No, nah, it's it's not like that. It's, di it's diversity. It's segregated diversity. That's no. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good term. I'm gonna throw that out there. That's awesome. Segregated diversity. That's what it is. Seriously. Um, the next thing I want to harp upon is Greek life and how they interact with the rest of the student body. So a little background about Cheney is that. The only Greek organizations we have at Cheney are the Divine Nine, the National Panhellenic Council. We got Alpha Phi Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Kappa Alpha Psi, Omega Psi Phi, Delta Sigma Theta, Phi Beta Sigma, Zeta Phi Beta, Sigma Gamma Rho, and Iota Phi Theta. And we also have the two social, uh, hmm, dang, what is the name? Social Fellowships. There we go. Social Fellowships. That's Swing Phi, that's a uh, Groove Phi Groove and Swing Phi Swing. So, overall, at Cheney, we have nine. We have eleven organizations, right? Eleven organizations on that campus, right? Here, you lose count. I've seen Greek letters on pretty much. Not, I'm not gonna say everybody. That's a, that's that's overdoing it. That's like overkill on that. But I've seen Greek letters, too many of them, and I just be like, Who are you again? Who are y'all again? You know, like, it's scattered all over the place. And for me, once again, you know, that's that, to me, is that, uh, dang, I, segregated diversity thing again, where it's like, you go over here, everybody, you know, everybody spread out. But, you know, me, I know only, like, the, the historically black fraternities and stuff, so for me, it's a little bit foreign to be out here with all this other mess. But then, also, in addition to it, I don't see, I don't really see the black Greek members on this campus like that. Okay, I went to this event thing. It was called like a warm up or whatever it was. It was pretty much like an organization fair. There, you know, I saw. Let me see. I saw one member of Alpha Phi Alpha here. One, and I know there's more than one. I saw two or three members of Cap Alpha Psi. One of them actually I have class with, so that's pretty cool and interesting. No members of Phi Beta Sigma, so I shouldn't even put a finger up for that. I saw two members of Iota Phi Theta. I seen a member of Zeta Phi Beta. I ain't seen no Deltas. I ain't seen no AKAs. I saw one, I think, two Qs. I think I saw two Qs on Mega Men. That's pretty much it. I ain't seen R.C. Rose or not. You know, and it, and I find it so funny because on campuses like this, this is where if you're on a campus like this, you need to be out there more than and more than ever. You know, at Cheney, our Greek life people. I mean, 
in Greek, like, Greek life at Cheney is kind of, you almost had like some type of celebrity status because that's how it is on HBCU campus. You have somewhat of a celebrity status. But in addition to that celebrity-like status, they were still very humble, very cool people to get along with. Half the people I knew and were friends with at Cheney are Greek. So for me, it was really cool to see them. And, you know, they live in the dorms and, you know, they, they hang out. They might got class with you. You know, they'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'll kick it with you, you know, hanging out with you. You know, y'all go on trips together. Y'all go on trips with Wawa together. Always, always that fun kind of stuff. Here, I have not seen one Greek person at any kind of party, any kind of function, other than that warm-up thing. Other than that warm-up thing and, and going to class, I don't see them in the gym. It's as if they don't even exist, the, the, the African-American Greek member people here. It seems like they don't exist. And I, you know, I got the contact of, of at least two, of, three of them, the Kappa and two Iotas. But it's still like, where are y'all? Why do I feel like y'all don't exist on this campus? Do y'all live off campus? If y'all live off campus, why not, you know, throw like a little thing? Just saying, you have that abil- availability, you can do that. You know, I mean, I understand getting any studies, but, you know, you also got time to do leisure stuff. So that's a little bit weird to me. It's a little bit foreign. You got to kind of, to me, I, I feel like, you know, even though I'm a GDI or whatever, they got to step it up for other for other African-American people on this campus or even people that might be interested in their organizations or whatever to feel like I got somewhere to go and belong to and everything. Just saying. Um, another, another, another topic of this. Every party here costs money. And the and the reason why that probably is is because there are house parties. So, you know, with that being said, house parties, you're always going to have to pay. That's how it is. Let's get at Cheney. What room functions? And we knew how to play it smart. Okay, so, of course, we never paid anything. You know, people, you know a person might just pick up something and be like, hey, I'm doing this. And you're like, Cool, cool. I'll be over there at blah da 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 time. So that's another very culturally different kind of thing between Cheney and here at IUP. Um, dang man. All right, sports, sports functions, especially basketball. I'm harping on basketball because I'm I'm here during basketball season. So at Cheney. Basketball was the lifeblood of the university. One of the lifebloods of the university. You know, when we cheered, we cheered hard. Okay, we made opposing fans and the opposing team uncomfortable. Cobalt is an uncomfortable place for any other school that ain't Cheney to come into because of the fact that Cobalt ain't all supremely super nice like all these other places. You know, the KCAC here is amazingly nice. It's really, really nice. Okay. But Cobol, nah, you're not going to get that kind of thing. You're not going to get that aura, nah. You're going to be real uncomfortable. You're going to be real hot, real uncomfortable, because you got all these black kids going crazy for their classmates. Not for anybody, but their classmates. You know, people that they see every day walking around Cheney, those people, okay? That's that was our, that's the school spirit, you know. If they if they say defense, we're going defense and Stomping, clapping, hitting the bleacher. We going crazy. We're rabid fans of our wolves, of our teammates. Because those technically are our teammates. They represent us, of our classmates. That's what I really meant to say. Of our classmates, though. So we go crazy. We go wild for them, you know, because, you know, we're the biggest fans because they represent us. They represent our school. Here, the townspeople here of Indiana, Pennsylvania, be repping IUP harder than we do. Like, they say defense. We don't say defense back. The only way we say defense, and they be off key with them, are the cheerleaders. Cheerleaders say defense at, at the wrong time that the team saying defense. Defense, 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 defense. Be on point. Somebody, I mean, they're initiating the team, so cheerleaders, it's up to them to really be on point with that whole defense chant. Seriously. Because you can't do that. That's that's. It sounds horrible. I was there at the game, I was just like, somebody got to get on beat, yeah. For real. Um, I'm trying to think what else can I compare. Uh-uh-uh. Try to figure it out. I got it. How people mesh here. So, I hate the word minority. 
the reason why I hate the word minority is because I usually when you hear the word minority, you hear the word associates itself with the term of lesser than. I'm not lesser than nobody. So I kick it with whoever I feel. But check it out. The thing is here at this campus, you get so lost of who you kind of are. So like, for example, like if a person was Asian and all they, all they hang out with is the majority or the Caucasian kids on campus, who knows how the people that he associates with or want to associate with look at him now. You know what I'm saying? Like how people from his ethnic group might look at him. That's how it kind of is here at IP. You kind of get lost in the sauce of the fact that it's not too many of whatever you, whatever ethnic group you belong in, whatever minority group you belong in. So now people might either shame you or throw, throw like a little bit of shade at you for just hanging out with them. But that might be because the group that you are a part of, that minority group that you're a part of, don't do nothing. They don't, they don't hang out. They don't really have fun. They're just about the books. Now, I'm like I said, I'm not mad at people that's about the books only. But at the same time, when you go to a place like like IUP, if you don't know your work for the week, have some fun. Go kick back. Do something. And it seems like everybody's just boring. You know, I'm a part of this group chat here at IUP, and it just seems like no one's doing nothing. All they do is promoting, like, platters. I don't want your platters. Oh, they're promoting this thing. Oh, yeah, it's $10. $10. $10. I'm talking about $10 for something that we're doing here at the school? No. I'm not paying on $10. That's, that's absurd. $10 for something at a school. The most I ever paid at Cheney for an event was $3. Three. One, two, three. All those threats. Undead block. I ain't paying no ten dollars. You gotta be tripping. Oh, and it's involved involving a model group. So, so what? Ten dollars? You got me messed up all the way. I'm not doing that. That's that's absurd. Ten dollars is out of pocket. Well, you'll pay to get into a party somewhere. Cause I know I'm gonna have fun. It's guaranteed. I know I'm gonna have fun. Oh, but you can't go to our thing. I'm not guaranteed to have fun. And you tell me to pay double, pay five times two of what I pay to get into somewhere I'm certified to have fun. So, don't come to me with that debate because I will shut it down quickly, very fast. I'm swift with the comeback. I think that's all I'm going to compare. So, you guys, y'all can comment. Tell me what you think. If you were a student here at IP, tell me what you think about what I what I said. Is it wrong? Am I right? Do you feel like I'm just, I just got to have perspective because I'm new or that because I'm a grad student? What do you think? Uh, like I said, sh like, share, subscribe. Um, check out some of my other videos. I got other content, you know, baseball, food, ranting, uh, sk older skateboarding stuff. Uh, I got, I'm going to do a skate review at some point in time about my shoes, something, something more skate related. When I get back to the city, might do another food thing. Who knows? But uh, this is Marco Man Food Savage. Oh, yeah, dig it. Signing out.